guys, let's do some magic. Hey! Hey! Oh, that makes everybody. Yeah, I don't know. Have you used up all the magic? I let's see if we can get one more here. Okay. Okay. Yay! Yay! Saki! Okay, it's still going, it's still going. Let's see yeah. who else we can get. It's going to be it for the year. Come on, oh. come on. We need some, we need to fill space here. Okay, pull him in. Who's next? Yeah! Jeez, man. That was a quick entrance. Let's check who else can join us for the day. Magic. Lord. Tim Broadway. Tim Broadway. Oh, fuck. I think uh, we use our magical yeah, powers. Magic, yeah. oh, Sorry. Uh, anyway, hello, hello, hello from us four here on the couch. Yeah, we are Robert, Anya, Linus, Issa. Today we are the Flavors for Four Bites. Thanks for tuning in. This is the New Year's episode, and uh, we've got the second episode from Perry Ben. Uh, we decided let's tackle the Mayos because we know Broadway is not a fan of them, and we. But our team mayo, so let's not disappoint team ourselves. May you all have a good day. May you, oh. may you. Do you remember that song? May you, may you, may you, may May you be long, sweet. Love, may you. Yeah. May you. Let's watch a little video quick and get back, yeah. How's it guys? Healthy and hot dirty. Today we've got a very special guest. I'm going to have him introduce himself. We've got a very big guest today. So, <laughs> introduce yourself to the people. Hi uh, everyone, my name is Ben Kruvier and um, I make my own chili sauces and relishes and spices. Thanks for having me on the show today. It is only a pleasure. So, uh, before we get into all the questions and delving deep into the history that you not necessarily want to tell everyone, <laughs> um, what is your brand called? Um, the one brand is called Perry Ben. It's named after myself. And then uh, my dry spices, it's uh, BG Spice Company. Uh, that I do the dry uh, spices and all that as well. Yeah. That is awesome. That is awesome. I see the products on the table. They are looking amazing. So, where, where did your chili journey specifically start, like apart from sources? Where did you realize you are interested in chilies and to like explore more? Well, I grew up, uh, obviously I'm Afrikaans speaking, so uh, my daddy loved cooking a lot and uh, always made spicy foods and that since I can remember. Um, but my actual journey started, it was also with the COVID, with the lockdown. You know, going to the shops, you buy all your brand sauces and at the back of it, you see all the preservatives and all that. And, um, you know, out of boredom, I started making my own sauces. And from there, I handed out samples to family and friends and they were so impressed. They said, uh, well, Ben, you must start making your own sauces. And uh, that was just about a year into lockdown that I started that yes. No, that's awesome. But it obviously means the feedback that you were getting was that said to you, okay, listen, maybe I should try and bring this on the market. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. But I'm also I'm self-employed in that, so you you always look for something, you know, you know, another venture on the sideline. Exactly. And um, you know, so after all the compliments, and encouragement, and uh, all the people that are fed very odd stuff and they like it. I decided on uh, starting my own sauce brand. No, that's awesome, that's awesome. And um, so, um, do you do, is there specific places where people can get all of your sauce apart from yourself? Or do you do markets? Um, and I, I, yes, I do a lot of markets, but um, I live in Kenton Park, so um, there's uh, local butchers that I supply, uh, where you, must, you know, they can buy my sauces uh, at the butchers. And uh, then I do markets. Um, I'm in the final stages of designing or having my own website design, where you then can purchase online and that. Um, so yeah, I'm sure it's going to launch within the next month or so. Oh, that's going to be awesome. We'll definitely check it out and also share it with the people. Thank you. Um, now, if you had to think quickly on the, just thumb sucking quickly. Is there any one of your products, let's say, that's standing on the table that you can pick up straight away and tell me, this is something I thought of that's unique, I've never seen anyone else or not a lot of other 
Souls make us do this, I think this is unique to me. If I must choose one myself, um, everybody makes a, a rock sauce, but um, you know the one that I made, uh, it's, it's very hot and um, I entered it for competitions and that as well. Um, I do a fermented sauce as well, a Tabasco sauce. Um, personally, I love, I, well not my, any Tabasco sauce a lot. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's my hot, my hot sauce and then uh, the newest one, but I don't have the labels for that yet. It's a smoke bomb where I naturally smoke all the ingredients that I choose myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there I make the sauce and uh, I brought you guys a sample just to taste as well. And I think that, I mean, when I made the sauce two weeks ago, I ordered 100 labels. In two weeks, all 100 labels were some bottles and it sold. Yeah, that's a Hence good sign. the fact that today your sample has got a sticker. And I must have bought it to us. No, but that doesn't matter. It's a new sauce still. Yeah. You can even review it on the show as a brand new yes. sauce. And um, that sounds really exciting. Now, is there any particular thing, let's say between the hot sauce and that one, that you think makes those sauces a little bit different to other sauces? Well, there's no artificial uh, preservatives or colorants in it. And um, that's the reason why I started making my own sauces. You know, if you buy a sauce of the, of the shell, and you see all the preservatives on the back, I mean, it's not healthy for your body. Um, yes, uh, it doesn't last as long as the shell port sauces. Um, it's handmade, I know what's go what goes in there, and my name stands behind the brand. Um, it's not mass manufactured, uh, you know, in factories, it's, it's made in my kitchen by myself. Even my wife doesn't appreciate it a lot, but it's, it's part of the war. Uh, she'll get used to it, that's right. Uh, she does. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Um, now, um, are you for some reason like some of the other sauce makers and chili heads that we've got locally? Are you a bit of a chili prankster? Or yes, not? yes, I've pranked a few people. Uh, I had a feeling. I have, yes. What's your, what's your favorite thing to prank people with or to catch them off guard with, if I can use a better term? Um, the one night, my oldest son, uh, we were camping at, uh, and my youngest boy, we, uh, boys weekend at the dam, and I made them a shooter, and instead of my putting a, um, a tequila and a bit of Tabasco, I put the other sauce that I put in there. <laughs> and that was the quickest that everybody got sober. I've never seen people sober up so quick in my life. No, but that's awesome. See, it's, it's part of the medicinal value, folks. Yeah. It's not, um, is there, what is, what is your favorite pepper to work with in making a sauce? If you have to choose one pepper. I, you pepper. know, it's, it's a strange, I'm going to give you a strange answer. My favorite pepper is the habanero. Because I like the fruitiness and you always blend it with a mango or, or with pineapple. Um, it's got a quiet taste. Mm. And believe me, your super hot, your reapers, it's not fun to work with. Um, I took off my gloves one time and I forgot that as I took the one off, I took the other one off and I wiped my forehead and uh, went to the toilet and uh, I regretted that for a few days. No, we, uh, we, we all know that feeling. Um, and look, I must agree, um, look, I'm chasing flavors and heat most of the time, but, and I've come to like uh, two of my favorite super hot peppers, both, if I'm not mistaken, have habanero far back in the lineage of the crossbreed process, or crossbreeding process, I should say, which is ghost and reaper. But habanero will always, due to that specific, um, almost like a niche flavor, like you said, yes. white taste, yes. and the specific flavor that it has, it's still one of my favorite peppers. And sometimes a good habanero sauce, if it's made with the right percentage of habanero, even though you can like me, I'm used to that kind of, I'll eat the reaper sauce on a daily, but sometimes there's still have an air sauce that catches me off guard with the heat, and uh, yeah. it's just, it's awesome, that's how it goes. So, now obviously, um, I definitely see in the way that you answer the questions, your product, even when we saw you at the Chili and Tequila Fiesta at the market, there's, there's a lot of passion, it's not just, let's make an extra buck. And that is, that is very important as well. I'm not saying there's people chasing money that don't make good sauces, 
but you can taste in the sauce, you can see when there's, um, I almost want to say you can smell when you open that bottle with passion yes. that goes in there. Now, apart from passion, do you have any, as a last comment, do you have any inspiring words for the people out there and or for sauce makers? Well, you know, I've got a saying that I live my life by, is uh, you must never stop dreaming and you must never stop believing. You know, if you, you must you dream big, believe in yourself, make mistakes, ask questions, and uh, live by that, and um, you know, the sky is the limit. Guys, you heard it from the horse's mouth, our very big and special guest for the day. From the, uh, on that note, guys, we're going to say cheers, and we're going to get you. to the tasting. Black a video, thanks Ben. Oh, oh, ben. What a wow. stop into getting this flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What, 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 what a show the people we are close up to but they on the camera. A black Which one is that? The Benny knows. Now, really nice, that's the one. What a lacquer Uncle Ben is. Such a nice. And we're going to try it on a oh, king cracker. And on a king cracker. So like a little squeeze bottle, you just squeeze it out. That's the way mayo should be. Let's yeah. be You don't always want to dig in there when there's only this much left in the bottom and you dig in there with a spoon and you grab your, your whole hands full of mayo and you want to squeeze like that. Yes, okay. Guys, well, that's very to true. To a point, I would go half off, but yeah, I'd prefer it like this, so yeah, yeah. It's like when you go away or something, it's you know easy to use. It's also like a small bottle, you can fit it in your backpack, so whenever you go to a restaurant, you can have your own. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you might even not go on holiday and mistake this for your shampoo. Like a <laughs> situation. Mm. But still, the mayo will float. That would be a very, very bad prank to do to mm. somebody. The chili sauce in their shampoo. Well, it's still better than the uh, super glue in your shampoo. Who does that? Ingredients. Carrots. Mayonnaise, berry, berry, no artificial colorants, preservatives. It's oh, not a very hot wow. one. Mm. But there's a very, I like them. Wow. Almost a, a vegetable, like you have some carrot or. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but this it's a like right? vegetable kind of taste. Mm -hmm. I'm loving this. Wow, that is... Well done, Ben. Very, well, ben. very cool, thank you. Well, Ben, I has a 12 18 for flavor. Mm. Oh, my mm. soul. And it's my perfect taste. Yeah. We've had hot uh, mm. um, chili mayonnaise, but that's like a family, a family yeah. one. Yeah. That's nice. Next, we've got these pickled onions. Homemade with love. This one says jalapeno. Got some jalapeno. mustard seeds and a few things in. Let's get it back to shake it up. And there's a spoon, so we can each just grab a Made a force onion. You. Grab yourself an onion. The onion. The I've got a chili Myron. staring at me over there. Myron was joking yesterday. Well. He's frying onions in. Is it grab the chili onion. Onion. <laughs> onion. Don't try mm. onions with onions. Okay, I'm getting mine now. I think it looks like it's pickled properly. Ooh la la. Thanks again Ben for sending us and we've got a few more episodes with these products coming up. Mm -hmm. Nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Underlying there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crispy. Very nice. Yeah, I think two pickles get all of him. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. I like pickles. I With that chili, it breaks a bit of a sweet, but it's mm -hmm. nice, eh? Again, not too hot. 
Jalapeno is not so much to start with. Mm-mm, most yeah. like him. Here's one that I'm excited for. Something we don't get too often. It's a garlic nose. Ingredients, garlic, garlic, parsley, and spices. This is not overpowering the hot so far. No, I would say very pleasant. It's just the hot day, I'm just naturally not sitting in the chair. Again, lack of consistency. There we go. I like the garlic. Mm. Don't know if I do guys. The garlic is prominent. Small small. Mm. Eat them not as hot as the first one. Or the chili just. Well there's no chili in this. Mm. Oh. Oh. This one okay. burger. Mm. No chili. Just garlic. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Very nice. Fantastic. I like herbs. Mm -hmm. Good blender herbs in there too. I like the range of products here from Ben. Guys, nice, get all of it. It's all over. Hopefully, a lot of that is parsley. We want to think too much of garlic. Do you have There's to go parsley. kiss someone? Well, apparently, yeah. Hmm? Eh? Do you have to go kiss someone? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well. Over there. I love that chili one though. Mm. Yeah, I'm just going to try that one again. Oh just because. I can't remember what it tastes like. So I'd say this one's a winner then today. That no, one. I'm voting for the onions. I'm doing my usual mix mix. Mm -hmm. So he's taking the onions. Oh yes, mix them up. Not the Not the onions. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, possibly. Choice always. But this one is the winner. Mm. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, possibly. We do things a little differently from time to time. We make magic, but we're not in it. <laughs> not at that moment. Mm -hmm. Look at how if you throw them on top of each other, they don't mix. Mm. This looks interesting. Mm. Mm. The onion is just getting better. Mm. Can I eat them? What did you know? Mm. <laughs> so the winner is you mix these two awesome. together. <laughs> Excellent. Guess what we have on our lunch today? Mm. Mm. Thanks for joining. Yo guys, Remember, like, you. subscribe. All those good things. Come see us, three main road. Yeah. At the Go and Grow Shop. Dry, dry shop. And, um, yeah guys, happy new year. Safe travels. Drink responsibly. Stay out. Stay healthy. See you next year.